The Ontario Line, part of the largest subway expansion project in North America, is underway. And Metrolinx is working closely with its contractors to develop solid working relationships. Opportunities for contractors to bring their knowledge, expertise and innovation to this important project can be found through these four Metrolinx procurement packages. The Rolling Stock, Systems, Operations and Maintenance Package, the Southern Civil, Stations and Tunnel Package, the Northern Civil, Stations and Tunnel Package, and the early works needed for the project that is critical for enabling the timely implementation of the other packages. Some of these early works include preparatory activities along the stretch of existing rail tracks where the Ontario Line will operate next to existing GO Transit rail services. We call this the Joint Corridor. An advanced work contract in this area will focus on protecting vital utilities within the rail corridor. There are three enabling works packages within the corridor's rail yard, known as the Don Yard. These packages will be phased and they include Enabling Works 1, which involves shifting the existing GO tracks and signals to accommodate the Ontario Line infrastructure. Enabling Works 2, which includes building an access road to support future construction laydown areas and critical utility crossings. And available soon for bidding, providing ample opportunity for the construction industry, is the Enabling Works 3 package that consists of a two-stage procurement process, a pre-qualification stage, and a short list of proponents to select the top-ranked team. The Enabling Works 3 package is a robust construction project that includes a new iconic bridge that crosses the Don Valley Parkway and Don River. With major excavations and civil infrastructure that transitions the Ontario Line Tunnel to grade. The package also includes construction of an emergency service building and noise barrier a new high-voltage transmission tower, and relocation of GO Transit track and signals. Excavation at the Dawn Yard will also be required to build an approximately 300-meter-long cut-and-cover tunnel, with a shift of tracks after the tunnel is complete. This portal, from tunnels to grade, will provide access to and from the new Lower Dawn Bridge. This new superstructure will be a network-tied arch bridge clear spanning 120 meters over the Don River and Don Valley Parkway. Also imperative in these works is the construction of a new monopole and emergency service building that will house important subway equipment, communications and utilities. In addition to enabling works packages in the Joint Corridor, we have another Ontario Line Early Works project called Lakeshore East, which consists of bridge replacements, retaining walls, and utility work. This project will follow the same two-stage procurement process described earlier. These project opportunities give our construction industry partners the chance to take part in a legacy infrastructure project that will become a vital component of Toronto's transit network for generations to come. For more information on the Ontario Line procurement packages and how to bid on these exciting construction opportunities, visit metrolinks.com slash tenders.